Hello everyone, so today we are doing water changes on both the girls and Alfie. So we're going to be showing you a bit of that and how we clean our tanks. So we just fed them and right now we're working on getting the water out. We're going to be taking out about 10 gallons today. They are in a 40 gallon tank, so it's about 25% water change. And right here is Miss Stella. So we're going to get the water out now and I'll show you a little bit more of cleaning the tank. Okay, so after you cool your water, you need to add prime and the prime needs to sit at least for two minutes before the prime is considered effective. We use reverse osmosis water. So I have two minerals here that I'm going to add to our water to give back the minerals that ROI water lacks. Um, the first product is alkaline buffer. This is going to raise your KH to medium, so about a KH of five. Um, this adds the pH back to your tank since most reverse osmosis water is a pH of six, which is two low for axolotls. So this will give it a, a good seven, keep our pH nice and regulated. So for this formula I am doing for a five gallon bucket only is one fourth tablespoon, two times. So one half tablespoon, I just can't find my one half. Um, the next product I'm gonna add is Secum Equilibrium. This is gonna raise the GH of the tank, which stands for general hardness. Hardness, yes, general hardness. Um, I usually do about three-fourths of a tablespoon to give it a good, and this mineral is really sticky, so you gotta make sure you stir it. So this gives you a GH of about 10, so you're right in the middle from a range of around 7 to 15. Now if you do use reverse osmosis, these two products work great if you have a smaller volume of tank or you're doing larger water changes for whatever reason or a smaller bucket you use for water you just look up the secum calculator and you put in all your information you can get the right amount of quantity for your minerals now i'm looking over at alfie and he is just hanging out over here He's looking so cute. We just fed him and he was hiding and now he came out. We're gonna be working on his tank next, but we're gonna be doing all the same things as what Christian showed you for the girl's tank. fill the tank back up and right now I'm going to work on moving their decorations and sand around just to get rid of any ammonia pockets and we recommend doing this at least once every two weeks and then I'm also just going to be wiping down the sides of the glass to get everything off of there. finished product. I just finished moving everything around so it's a little cloudy right now. And here is Stella. Luna is in the back as always. So this is the final result. So all the water changes are now done and you can see Alfie in there. And we did the same thing for his tank as we did for the girls like I said. And 
and we are good for this water change. So if there's anything else you'd like to see or questions you have, feel free to put them down in the comments and I'll answer them.